E-commerce is the sales and purchase of products and service via internet. For both business to business and business to consumer companies, e-commerce has effectively broadened the market boundary. This effect is especially important for small B2C companies. In this lesson, we will talk about e-commerce practices especially suitable for small companies producing consumer goods. However, most of them could be adapted to other types of companies as well. E-commerce has already become a widely accepted distribution channel. It effectively enables market extension as it can be accessed from anywhere, anytime. It also enables the producers to directly interact with the final consumers, which may increase their margin and allow the company to cross and upselling. Besides product value, companies selling through e-commerce has to be specific attention to customer service, such as the speed, punctuality, and accuracy of delivery, the information transparency during the process, return management, and so on. The service level could also be a competitive advantage in e-commerce. Despite its potential, the success of e-commerce is not to be taken for granted, especially for small companies. To successfully launch and manage e-commerce websites, it can require substantial investment and specific competencies such as informatic technology. The transactions take place online, however. The orders still have to be fulfilled physically. Therefore, it would require additional logistic capacity. When the company extends its market to new territories, it still has to understand the new market in terms of laws and regulations local operation, and the local customers. E-commerce subjects to the same competition, if not more, in the marketplace. Therefore, e-commerce must be promoted through marketing communication to gain customers. For small companies, due to lower transaction volume, it can be intimidating and impractical to develop and manage e-commerce entirely by itself. Let's look into two practical alternatives of e-commerce for small companies. If you would like to be in direct contact with the customers and to build a niche brand, it is preferable to manage your brand name e-commerce. Instead of developing everything in-house, you can choose a suitable e-commerce solution. For example, one of the most well-established e-commerce solution providers is Shopify, and many other alternatives such as Big Commerce, Volution, and so on. Such service providers can help you to easily and quickly set up your e-commerce website through a selection of templates. The setup can be done by practically anyone in the company, even without any informatic background. These service providers also constantly update their services according to the current digital environment. For example, it helps you to optimize the page for search engine, or to integrate your online shop to social media, and so on. In addition, they provide assistance in payments and shipping as well. These are two essential activities in e-commerce that most small companies have to start from scratch. Due to low volume, a small company may encounter high shipping cost, either eroding its own profit or lowering customers' willingness to buy. E-commerce solution providers often help the small companies to effectively manage shipping through their partnership with international courier services such as DHL or UPS. With these services, the small companies can focus on their core activities while minimizing the technical and operational efforts to manage e-commerce. This kind of solution has a much lower entry cost, which is more flexible in the same time. Depending on the features and the supports needed, the cost could be lower than 50 euro per month. This solution could be suitable when there is perceivable unique value in the products. We emphasize that in this case, marketing communication must adequately promote the e-commerce, manage customer relationship, and build the niche brand. Trust, loyalty, and word of mouth are critical success factors in this approach. On the other hand, when there is less perceivable unique value in the product or in sectors that is difficult to build brand loyalty, small companies could take an indirect approach that is selling through an intermediary e-commerce retailer. For example, a customer needs to buy a smartphone holder for the car. 
quite likely he would start the search for these products on e-commerce retailer Amazon, as there are hardly recallable brands for such products, and Amazon is known for carrying an enormous selection of such products. In this approach, the small companies need to identify a suitable intermediary e-commerce retailer. For example, Amazon dominates in many markets the product categories such as electronics, small appliances, and technological gadgets. Etsy.com is a popular retailer of creative, handcrafted pieces. Fashion e-commerce retailer Asus provides a marketplace for independent designers. Different countries could have different preference of intermediaries as well. In the indirect approach, small companies can take advantage of the brand awareness of the intermediaries the high traffic to their websites, and the marketing promotion initiated by the retailers. Such retailers often provide payment and logistic services as well. For example, small companies could enjoy Amazon's superior logistic service, which is hardly achievable by independently managed e-commerce. The intermediaries would charge commission on the sales. Nonetheless, the overall costs should still be considerably lower than developing and managing one's own e-commerce. However, note that there could be high competition on these retailer websites. Insight optimization and insight promotion is important for the product's searchability. Comprehensive and accurate information helps customers to evaluate and to reduce product returns. Product reviews are word of mouth for future customers, but also allow sellers to identify problems in their products and service. Learning and experimenting is important for e-commerce, no matter which approach is taken. It is also highly influenced by the dynamics in the digital environment, with which companies must keep themselves updated.